Hola estudiantes, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and today I'm going to help you through the notes on reflexive verbs as vocabulary and get you started on your homework, which is to categorize those verbs. I am in your chapter seven of OneNote, page seven, reflexive verbs, vocab, and categorize homework. I'm going to eliminate the table of contents, and I'm going to make this section big. I am going to type in the definition for reflexive verbs so that you can um, get it while we're nice and clean. Okay, so reflexive verbs. Um, these uh, reflexive verbs are verbs where the person doing the action is also receiving the action. Okay, these are mirror verbs. Okay, so that yellow is the definition. I am going to write in the rest of it. So we're going to go through. These actually go in the same order as the video that you watched in Schoology. So I'm actually going to make it quite big, and you can pause the video if you need to go back and get that definition. Okay, so I'm going to make it really big just so I have room to write Move my cursor over here. Okay. All right. So let's make sure that I have a good size point on um, my pen. I need it a little bit bigger. Uh, we'll go for this one. Okay. So the first one, afetarse. Afetarse. To shave. You don't need the English. These pictures are quite clear. Afetarse. Okay. The next one is Peinarse, peinarse, to comb your own hair. Afeitarse, to shave yourself. The next one is ducharse, to shower yourself. Ducharse. The next one is bañarse, think of the word baño. Bañarse, to bathe yourself. Bañarse. The next one is a long word, okay, ma -ki se So we're going to learn that maquillaje, this is the maquillaje, is your makeup. So um, maquillarse, to put on your own makeup. The next one, lavarse, to wash yourself. And then you could name the part of the body. This is lavarse um, las manos. You could lavarse el pelo, lavarse la cara, lavarse el pie. Muy bien. Okay, this guy is doing vestirse. Okay, vestirse. Okay, and I will put something here. A little note. Okay, I always say I get dressed in my vest, even though he's not putting on a vest, so that I can remember vestir say is to get dressed. Okay, so his pants are going on. Okay, but it's not to put on, it's getting dressed. I get dressed in my vest. Okay, and the last one on the first page of notes is called quitar se. Quitar se. I like this one because, okay, she is taking it off her everyday clothes. And if you think of it, she is going to quit wearing them. Okay, when you take them off, you quit wearing them. Quitarse. Okay, going to page two of the notes. The first debujo, he is putting on, right? So the socks are going on. So this is called ponerse. Poner to put or place. Poner se. Okay. Poner se. The next one is despertar se. Okay. And this E is going to be an E to I E when we conjugate. I should maybe put this here. This is a yogo. 
in the yo form, pongo. Let me just go back quick, quickly and see if there's anything else. This E is an E to I stem change. Visto, that one's good, that one's good, that one's fine, that one's good, that one's fine, that one is fine. Okay, let me scroll back down. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Okay, the next one. He is not sleeping. He is resting. Okay, to rest is des con sar se. I like to remember the word can. Okay, and your can is your butt. Okay, put your can down. Okay, and take a rest. Take a load off. Okay, she has already woke up, despertarse. Now she is levantarse. She's actually getting out of the bed and raising herself up. Think levitate, levantarse. This one's pretty obvious, right? This is sepiarse. Okay, and you can say los dientes if you want to after it, sepiarse los dientes, because that means to brush. Technically, I guess you could sepiar your pelo, um, but mo mainly we say sepiarse, we mean los dientes. This little boy is se garse. Okay, after going to the pool and nadar, he is se garse. So if we apply se garse, we can say se gar se el pelo. Se garse el pelo. Drying his own hair. This guy is tired, so I'm going to say z, z, z. I'm also going to draw in a half moon. So you can see that it's nighttime. There's some stars. Okay, so he is going to bed. So this is a costar say. It doesn't cost anything to go to sleep, right? And the last one, we're actually going to do a separate page on this, but this is all about your emotions. This is sentir say. Okay, to feel. Okay, and this is with. Los emociones. So we'll be getting in touch with our emotions on another day. Okay, let's just review them. Say them with me as I scroll back up. Sentirse, acostarse, secarse el pelo, secarse, sepiarse los dientes, levantarse, Descansarse, despertarse, ponerse, quitarse, vestirse, lavarse, maquillarse, bañarse, ducharse, peinarse, Afeitarse. We will be using the orange column at another date after we learn to conjugate the verbs. Today, again, is just learning what each verb means. Your homework is on the same page so that you can see the list, and all you need to do is categorize the reflexive verbs by the time of day that you do that activity or action. A verb may go in more than one column. For example, if I comb my hair in the morning and during the day, I could put it in both spots. Maybe I, let's say, hopefully I brush my teeth more than once a day. So I'm going to say that. I'm going to put in sepiarse. And again, I'm going to, you can write in los dientes if that helps you remember what sepiarse is. I do it por la mañana y por la noche. Oops. So I'm going to put that in both places. Okay. 
Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, write in your notes and categorize the verbs. Gracias.